her 9000's game room. Hey, so it's a new year and I guess this video is a little late coming but I like to kind of map out a plan of what I'm going to do in the year. You see, I could just aimlessly make video after video but I'd like to have a little bit of a game plan. Now, more SNES reviews are definitely coming. For those that don't know, I've got an entire 152 or something written and I just keep recording the footage to turn those written reviews into video reviews so there will certainly be more of those this year I don't really plan on stopping doing those until the whole shebang's done, until all of them are done I also do plan to touch on a few Switch games, a few normal, a few indie I've already done a preview video for talking about Animal Crossing and the Pokemon DLC Season Pass so I'm sure I'll hit those topics again because they're two things I'm certainly going to buy I recently got a Mega Drive Mini, so I would discount a review of that. And I've just done a video which is talking about an arcade game which never reached the home consoles, which is something I'm sure I'll touch on again. I'm sure I'll look at a horror film or two, although I do like to keep this gaming focused. Yeah, sometimes I'll rant about political news, but in all honesty I think there's enough people doing that, so unless something really tease me off or comes into an area of expertise for me, I'm unlikely to touch it I think. A long long time ago I was responsible for a podcast for a now defunct forum. This podcast was called Podcast Zero, in fact I think there's a sample of it up on my YouTube channel. This is something I am very much looking at returning to. I've been involved in other podcasts in the past, but it's quite hard to find a time that people sort of want you, which is good for me, as I work very, very early mornings. I've really enjoyed working with other people on this kind of uh, conversational media, but I just couldn't stay up till 2 o'clock in the night, well, early morning, and then get up for 4.30 for work anymore. It just became too much, and people didn't seem to want to move it to another time. I guess because people are in different stages of their life than I am. I've got a daughter but she's pretty much nearly all grown up now. So there's like no putting her to bed or anything like that. Whereas I think a lot of people that I've worked with in the past are still in that sort of phase of life and probably work far more regular hour jobs than me. I'm sort of wanting to record stuff at like five o'clock in the evening and be in bed for ten. Yeah, um, not really a all-night party kind of dude, so... And I didn't see a point in getting into a situation where I'm on a podcast, but I'm only on once in a blue moon, when I happen to have the following day off work due to a shift swap or a holiday. Although it's crying shame, I really have enjoyed doing that sort of stuff in the past. I, you know, maybe I can find somebody, or some people that want to uh, fit into my schedule. I did have a fair bit of help on some videos from Just Jessica and that's a partnership that will keep on going and I'm sure I'll include her in more stuff. I spent a lot of time towards the end of last year basically, I call it upgrading, updating my channel. I'd always had this big front music that I'd made with an old version of Music Maker and I was a bit, I don't know if I say proud of it or attached to it, I didn't want to lose it but I do think it was an overly long, annoying piece of music and I'm much happier with my quick start I now have on my videos and yeah, I changed my banners and things I think they were done a little bit as ironic jokes before if you ever saw what they were and now I just think they're a little bit better I've seen a lot of people that I used to talk to uh, leave YouTube lately basically for changes in rules and also the fact that it seems to be harder and harder to get your content out there if you're a small channel. Seems to be very much the realm of the big boys and people were getting disheartened that their videos had only got 5 or 10 or 50 views and I have been asked multiple times will the change in the way it runs, the added stressors, uh, the lack of views, will it push you out? Well, to be honest, not really. You've probably noticed I'm not doing this as a business. I've never asked for Patreon contributions or really begged for likes. I mean, I might add something like, please like and subscribe at some point, I don't know. But I've, it's never been a core focus of mine. 
I'm not going to be pushed out of this because I'm not looking for massive figures. If five people watch my videos and enjoy them, so what? That's great. Um, you know, I'm not a YouTube personality and this is not how I define my life. I'm a person who's happy in what I'm doing and I'm doing this as a hobby. I'm doing it for the love of the game and I don't particularly see that ever changing. Sure, I might have spurts of more activity or less activity as life demands things from me, but I think I'm going to keep coming back and I definitely want to have at least like three videos a month on this channel to keep it going. Um, I suppose there's not a lot more to say really, it's Kerr9000 signing out. Have a great year everybody and keep on gaming.